welcome back. I'm Steve with Wild Card Belly Dance. Following along in this series, I'm breaking down Wild Card Belly Dance's improvisational tribal style slow movement vocabulary. Remember, this series follows along with our level one class. So the movement that we're learning today is rib cage rotation. So rather than having the move be angled straight towards the audience, we're gonna be at that slight angle. So if I'm showcasing the right hip, I'm gonna be angled towards the left. Remember, if I was standing in the center of a clock face, my toes would be pointing towards 11. So let's just do a couple of drills to help kind of warm up our chest a little bit. I'm gonna to turn to the front to do that. Slide your cage to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. And yes, your shoulders are gonna move a little bit, but you're really trying to isolate your ribs from your shoulders. Slide it to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Now we're gonna do a lift. So lift, neutral, lift, neutral, lift, neutral. I'm gonna show you what that looks like from the side. So a lot of people, when they lift up their chest, they arch their back, and it's not what we want to do. The lift is more like there's a string attached to our solar plexus. This is lifting it up. When we drop it down, we're not collapsing the chest. We're dropping it back to neutral. So lift, neutral. Lift, neutral. Slide it to the right, to the left. Neutral. Lift, neutral. Lift, neutral. So the root cage rotation is going to look like this. You may not be familiar or comfortable with moving your ribcage around, but be gentle with yourself, it'll come. You're also going to notice that I have a florio overlaid with the ribcage rotation. So if you're unfamiliar with hand florios, go back to body wave where I break down hand florios. Okay, let's go down to back to breaking down the move. So we're at our angle, with our toes pointed towards 11 o'clock rather than noon towards the audience. We still have our posture, feet are flat, knees are soft, that pelvis is neutral. We have that uplifted tribal chest posture, and that pole is running straight through our, our body. So slide your rib cage to the right, lift it to the front, slide it to the left, back to neutral. Right, front, left, neutral. So now let's smooth it out, rather than trying to hit all the points, Let's make it as fluid as possible. Sliding to the right, front, left, neutral. Right, front, left, neutral. Right, front, left, neutral. Right, front, left, neutral. The movement is actually very small. It's an illusion that it's so large. Slide it to the right, front, left, neutral, right, front, left, neutral. So now, let's talk about bringing our arms into the move. We're gonna bring them up. I'm gonna turn forward so you can see me a little bit closer. So rather than having our arms in position 2.5 as we do the toxine, bring them down a little bit and closer in. Why? Because we're framing the rib cage. This is what they will look like if we were straight to the audience. Now angle yourself a little bit. So remember, the florio is overlaid onto the movement. And now you might notice that this beautiful ribcage that you had, well, ribcage rotation that you had while your arms were down at your side, might be a little bit more subtle with your arms up because you're trying not to let your arms get involved with the move. So slide your ribs to the right, front, left, neutral, right, front, left, neutral, right, front, left, neutral, right, front, left, neutral. Something that helps me out so that my arms don't get so involved and to help me to lift my chest when it comes to the front is I almost imagine that I'm grabbing onto something and pulling my ribcage forward but not having my arms move at all. So imagine grabbing onto something, pulling as that ribcage comes forward. Grabbing onto something and pulling as that ribcage comes forward. Let me show you what it looks like from the back. So I'm angle and showcasing the right hip, so I'm angled towards the left. My arms are a little bit closer together. Slide it to the right, front, left, neutral, right, front, left, neutral, right, front, left, neutral, right, front, left, neutral.
we can also turn this move and do a level change with it. So the turn follows the same principles as we did with body wave. So we're, imagine once again that we're on that lazy Susan and we're having going from one angle to the back diagonal, back to the front diagonal. And same thing with body wave, we're not gonna stall out here and then come back to the front, we're gonna make it fluid. And with body wave, it's gonna be that turn of my head is gonna be the cue that we're going to turn. Right, front, left, neutral, right, front, left, neutral. There's the cue for the turn. There's one diagonal. Coming back around to the front. Right, front, left, neutral. The cue for the turn. And keep going around. Right, front, left, neutral. The cue for level change is my arms are going to stay in place. I'm just going to get a little bit taller. I'm going to come down as far as I feel comfortable without tipping over, coming forward, without full running straight through your body. Back up to standing, flat feet. Right, front, left, neutral. Right, front, left, neutral. There's a level change. All that happened was I got a little bit taller. And that's it. Cue for the turn. Back to our front diagonal. So, I can also lead this move from the left hip. So, pointing, my body's going to be angled towards the right. Hip left hip is towards the audience. My toes are pointing over to one o'clock. Arms are exactly the same. Same frame, but what we're going to start with is having the ribcage go to the left, front, right, neutral, left, front, right, neutral, left, front, right, neutral. All the other rules will apply for level change and for the cue for turning. And we're showcasing the left hip. Left, front, right, neutral, left, front, right, Neutral, left, front, right, neutral. There's a key to the turn. Back to our front diagonal. So the question that I get asked most frequently in class is how to continue the ribcage rotation successfully while turning. So the, the secret, I think, for me is that I kind of slide it I think about it as the twins, I slide into the right, lift it, and then I follow them around to the next place. So slide and lift, just follow the twins. So right, lift, right, lift. So right, front, left, neutral, right, lift, right, lift. A little secret that might help you out with the move. So now let's talk about transitions. So we just don't start off with our arms in this position. So let's talk about going from toxine into body wave and then transitioning into ribcage rotation. So, the easy, so it's a little bit more difficult if you're in toxine to transition into ribcage rotation and have all of your follow dancers pick it up if you're brand new to dancing with each other. This is what it would look like. So right hip, left hip, there's a body orientation and bringing in the arms, you immediately go into the ribcage rotation. It's a really subtle a cue, so that's not what I would recommend. What I would probably do, what I usually do, I'm in toxine, I walk my arms up. At this point, orient my body orientation to an angle, I can go into body weight, bring the arms down, transition into the ribcage rotation. Yeah? Transition back into toxine. The other thing I could do is walk my arms up, bring them down, and transition. It's going to be an easier cue for the follow dancers to catch. Showcasing on the left, same thing. I'm going to walk my arms up with toxine. Change my body orientation, going into body wave, bringing the arms down. Initiate in the ribcage rotation. Mm. Easy to transition back into toxine because the dancers will catch the arm and hand movement. Let's try that again. Walking your arms up.
changing your body orientation. Going into body wave. Bring the arms down. Going to ribcage rotation. And it's easier to catch that cue going into toxine out of ribcage rotation because there's going to be a difference in the arms. Watch my arms. There's the push out of the hands. Transitioning back into toxine. So now I'm going to put on a song from our CD, Tribal Collaborations, and we're going to drill the three moves we've learned so far. Toxine, body wave, and ribcage rotation. I feel like the more you drill the moves, the more comfortable and easier it will be to execute them. Follow a leader. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to drill often. See you next time.